Hi friends, welcome to a brand new series of programming made easy. So in this series, we'll be seeing the programming using VC++ and MFC. The main reason why I'm doing this particular programming series is because I've seen it's very hard to find the programmers who are well versed with VC++ and MFC. Even though there is a lot of demand for VC++ MFC developers, it is very difficult to find the resources. Even if you find one, and when you do the interview, you will come to know they don't know anything. I have done many, many interviews for the position of VC++ MFC developers. But whenever I take the interview, we find very few people who understand the true power of VC++ MFC. I'll be doing a series of videos regarding this programming because I couldn't find many on YouTube. I hope this series of videos will help all the programmers who want to learn MFC will be it helps them as well as it also helps people who want to uh, get a job in this particular programming field. So this is an introduction video, introduction to MFC. So we'll be seeing what is MFC, why MFC is required. And in the coming videos, we will dig more into MFC. So in order to understand this series and get most of it, there are few prerequisites. So you should know the basics of C++ because MFC works along with VC++, which stands for Visual C++. If you know the basics of C++, it will be very easy to follow the uh, programming samples that I will be showing. So having the basics of C++ is very important. You should understand the fundamentals of OOPS concept that is object oriented programming such as class, object, inheritance, polymorphism, abstraction, etc. You should have Visual C++ or Visual Studio software installed in your laptops or desktops. In order to, <coughs> sorry, in order to do the programming that I will be doing, also I will be doing and giving few exercises down the line. So that is for you to understand the concepts and also become familiar with the programming. Uh, in order to install the Visual Studio software, uh, Microsoft is providing a community version of Visual Studio, which you can download from the link given below. So you can go to this particular page, download the community version, and then install it. So you need to install the components required for Visual C++. So I'll be using Visual Studio 2012 for all the programming aspects, but you can use the latest version to do the programming. So what is MFC? So MFC stands for Microsoft Foundation Classes. So as the name suggests, it is an application framework developed by Microsoft. So what MFC offers us? So MFC provides us with a set of functions, constants, data types, and classes 
to simplify creating applications for the Microsoft Windows operating systems. So this means the applications that you develop using VC++ MFC will mainly work on Windows environment. Why MFC? What is the benefit of using MFC? So first and foremost, MFC shortens your development time. Why and how? Earlier, before MFC came into existence, before Microsoft introduced MFC, the programming was done using Win32 APIs. So what MFC has done, basically, there are a lot of wrapper classes written on top of these uh, Win32 APIs. And using these classes, you can write less code to get more benefits. For example, let's say you want to work with strings. So you want to replace the characters, let's say underscore with space. So without MFC, you may have to write a full loop going through all the characters and then find and replace underscore to spaces. But with MFC, which gives you a ready class called C string, replacing underscore with space is just one line of code. So what otherwise you would have written five lines or 10 lines of code, now you need to write one line of code. So that's how it shortens your development time. It simplifies programming by providing ready to use classes. Lot of classes are provided as part of MFC. There are classes for your UI elements, like for example, a button, there is a class. You want to use a dialog, there is a class. You want to do the file programming, there is a class. You want to work with strings that is a class you want to do internet programming there are classes you want to do network programming there are classes so basically there are you want to do database programming there are classes so basically you have set of classes to perform various operations and using these classes which are having a grouped functions as part of the class, it makes the programming very easy. It makes code more portable and it provides easy access to user interface elements. As I told, there are classes for your UI elements which makes the programming for those user elements very easy. So that's all about the introduction. So in the next class, we will see more about MFT. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please like it, share it and subscribe to my channel to get more videos on MFC. Thank you for watching.